Hostiles, 12 o'clock and 6 miles. What is this tack they're looking for anyway? It's some kind of weapon left by the ancients. The kind that decides who wins the war. Have Moloch's warriors been here before? I don't like the look of this. That was above and beyond. Isn't the Lambda site off-world, sir? I'd like to briefly take a moment and say thank you to everyone who has continued to join us over the Florida Maquis Patreon channel. The Holy Bible teaches us, rejoice always, pray without ceasing, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. If you'd like to join us over there, it's only one U.S. dollar per month at the base level, and even less than that if you sign up for an entire year, and no matter what level you choose, it's fully refundable. First 90 days, no questions asked. What's the difference between YouTube and Patreon? At Patreon, we can take the gloves off. There are no sensors. We have, of course, the Patreon firewall, and then we also have Vimeo that we're partnering with, and that gives us one extra layer of protection where we can speak our minds and we can take advantage of rights that we used to enjoy in this country freely. would love to have you over there. There are hundreds of of exclusive videos never before seen here on YouTube. Please, if you have the ability, would love to have you over there. You won't regret it. God bless all of you, and thank you so much. This British topographical survey has allowed me to go back and look at some of the things that I have discovered in Antarctica and correlate them with the structures revealed here. And it's matching up. It is matching up exactly like what you would expect from a civilization, a seafaring civilization. Um, one of the main structures. Uh, right through here, you can see that there is a canal from the ocean that goes right into the center of the continent. And there's a very deep channel right here. It looks like, and this is, you know, not incredibly accurate, but it looks like they would have had, you know, to probably do some construction to be able to pull ships through here and it's all coming together it really is I have some brand new things today um, that I have been able to discover now just for reference I'm always going to refer to this strip of land up here by the tip of South America as the 12 o'clock I don't really have a way to kind of shift this map around but this will always be 12 o'clock so today we're going to be looking over in the 2 o'clock region now I'm going to zoom this in a little bit up there to show you a couple of features. Right here in this region, it looks like there is a pass through these mountains right to deep water. And if you look over here to the right, there's also some structures offshore. We're going to investigate those in a future video. But when I go to the actual Google Earth Pro and show you what I found today, it's going to match up with this exactly. It's going to show that clearly there's something underneath there they've discovered. They are attempting to um, reveal from underneath. Um, i trying to think of a good way to say this. There's activity underneath that they are trying to make manifest above ground that they can see with satellites or above the ice. So without any further ado, let's uh, go over there real quick. Alrighty, once again, we are up here at 2 o'clock, and we're going to zoom in. Now, we've been here before to this area where I had found a bunch of smaller um, tunnel structures, and 
this huge uh, tunnel entrance and a shadow of a tower. So not too far from that, I was looking in this giant plane of basically white nothing and was wondering why they had it imaged in high res, which uncovers here. And of course, we're going to use our tactic, our technique of tipping the camera so that we're looking at the horizon. Now, I found the cable going backward the other direction, but when you zoom down here, and you have to get really close to see this uncovers from just white to high res, but it's high res of nothing. I'm like, what are they doing? But of course, it took me a minute, but I'll zoom in here and show you. The red line is my reference line, but as you can see, here's another one of these structures, and it follows the same pattern. This one is 0 to 180 degrees. Um, all of the other cable structures that I found are either this or 9270. They don't exist in any other um, paradigm. So follow this, and it's, uh, it's almost 70 kilometers long. And it goes right through a series of mountains. Now, my reference line isn't set to go topographical. It's just set to go straight line so that I can get an accurate straight line distance for it. Um, if I would make it go topographical, it would make it uh, seem as if it was a lot farther because, of course, the up and down of the terrain. But as you can see, looking at Antarctica this way, as opposed to from straight down, gives you a much better perspective on things, a much more accurate perspective, I think. We'll go ahead and um, just fast forward right here to the end of this, but off to the side of it, we see things, this ribbing, that there's a what seems like some kind of a reinforced tunnel roof down there, and I'll show you why I think that. As you can see, this thing just goes on forever. Give me one second here. Okay, so it ends out here where the high res ends. Now, why it would do that? It might just show the extent to which they are limited. That they found these tunnels, they're using this heat source down there, whatever it might be, whether it's a volcano, whether it's radioactive, and they are pumping this heat through these um, underground caverns, underground channels. I think this is either, it's either that, or this is the site where they tested a very high energy um, laser weapon, because it would leave a scar like this. I've used the term cable because when I first found them, that's what it just looked like. And as we can see, out here in this vast plain of nothing, it intersects things like this. You know, just out here, if, and if you go here, and I'll give you the coordinates, you can see there's nothing out here but things that correlate with this structure. I found two things off to the side of it that I thought were very odd that run perpendicular, exactly perpendicular to it. These excavation lines. And just randomly out here. And this appears to be a three-dimensional structure. Because we can see that there's a shadow on the side of it. And this might be the smoking gun right here. This might give you an idea of how big these things are. One of these might have actually reached the surface for some reason. I'm going to real quick, and I wanted to do this together with you. I haven't done this before. Um, I'm going to get out my uh, ruler tool, and I'm going to measure the width of this. Oops, one second. Hold on. I had it set in pathway. All right, let's see here. Let's measure that in meters. All right, so this is showing about four meters across. So in uh, 4.85 yards, so 15 feet. Might be less because, you know, I'm measuring the distance of the shadow as well. That could be a, a vertical wall structure. But you can see there's a break here. And then you can also see that there's what looks like evidence of scrubbing where this has been removed. 
and this might just be a fault. This is, of course, the 2000... I'm actually looking at the 2014 layer right now. Most of this uncovered in the 2012 layer. Here's even a larger section, thicker section that uncovered. Out in the middle of nowhere. And once again, I will, uh, I'll give you the year, I'll give you the location markers, and you can go look at this for yourself. Google Earth Pro is the best way to do this. I think they have tried to hide a lot of things from a lot of people, but there's part of this investigation that I don't think they ever thought about is going back in time, using perspective, um, and looking for the small evidence, not the huge smoking gun types of things. But we're going to zoom out here real quick just so I can get a better reference on what's going on. So yeah, this is a massive, massive cable structure. I'll give you the reference points and uh, the length of it down in the description. But, of course, near it, I found all sorts of other things. This one's kind of hard to see, but when you get here and you do it for yourself on your own device, it'll seem a lot easier. Right here, it looks like there is evidence of one of these tunnels collapsed. Because there's this massive indentation center here where the weight just probably was too much over time for it to handle. And I think that's what they're trying to discover, honestly. If it's not the laser weapon, it's got to be tunnels underneath, or they're using both for some purpose. This was one of the big smoking guns for me. Because when you talk about nature, there's very few straight lines, very few... Uh, geometric things that occur naturally. There are some. But when you look on the side of this mountain, you see these paths. We see this in antiquity here. You can see where someone has constructed a pathway because it's clearly a horizontal surface that's collecting snow. We see these in China. We see these all sorts of places through Europe where this was a pathway off the plain and up through and into the mountains, especially right here. This is clearly a well-worn path. And over here, let's see if I can get the uh, right aspect on this. There is a series of 90 degree angles very sharp very cut angles there's a major one here another one up here I'm sorry let me get this in the camera all right there we go there's one here there's another one up here I mean when you look at this it's completely unnatural it sticks out like a sore thumb from everything else around it down here there's one here there's another let's see if I can tip up even steeper and just get over top of it. See what I mean? This just looks like some type of a construct. They had this here for whatever reason. Um, with different water levels, who knows what this could have been used for. Even from, even from this far above, in the low res that you, you can see very clearly here that this was something hand of man. And then I, I did not have a, uh, a good way to describe this. I'm going to let you guys just use your own imagination on this because I found this and it was a jaw dropping moment. It looks like from a distance that it's just a, a ridge It's, I, I don't even know what to describe these colors as. I just labeled it Awakening Underneath. So when you go down to the description and you look for the um, location, that's what I have it labeled as. I just do not know. It is a massive field. They've talked about discoveries of radiation down there. This clearly is a pathway to something. 
And once again, here's this gold. There's more of it here. Seems to be always right by these pathways. This looks like straight up a slab of gold just under the snow. The Bible talks about streets of gold, but... And then something almost the shape of a whale underneath here. I mean, it really does. It has the shape of what looks like the head of a whale. Coming through the ice. It's... I can't think of any other good way to describe that. And, finally, there is an enormous, enormous collapse field. And that's why I had it set in a pathway, because I had to just mark this thing off with one enormous path. It's hard to... Uh, Let's see if I can turn the lights down on this a little bit and see if the contrast will come up. It's basically right here where I'm tracing out to the sea. And like I said, this all correlates with that area that I had shown on this map, right here. We'll zoom that in. So all that stuff was right through here, right in this region, where you would have expected to find some type of a civilization. Because this would have been key. This would have been a critical, critical area right here. With this major access to the sea, this, you know, green valley with this, uh, this looks like, the size here is hard to uh, explain, but this area right here, this, uh, what looks like this little isthmus sticking out, is about four times the size of Florida. I mean, this is huge right here. And it would have had all this access to what might have been fresh water at that time inland so imagine if the gulf of if the gulf of mexico was fresh water what that would have been like for a civilization so anyway you can find this map it's all over the internet just uh um british topographical survey of uh antarctica and it's everywhere so thank you guys so much for the support. I really appreciate it. Hope everyone had a good Thanksgiving weekend. Like, share, subscribe, and we will see you next time. Thank you. would like to briefly take a moment and say thank you to everyone who has continued to join us over at the Florida Maquis Patreon channel. The Holy Bible teaches us, Rejoice always. Pray without ceasing. Give thanks in all circumstances, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. If you'd like to join us over there, it's only one U.S. dollar per month at the base level, and even less than that if you sign up for an entire year, and no matter what level you choose, it's fully refundable. First 90 days, no questions asked. What's the difference between YouTube and Patreon? At Patreon, we can take the gloves off. There are no censors. We have, of course, the Patreon firewall, and then we also have Vimeo that we're partnering with, and that gives us one extra layer of protection where we can speak our minds and we can take advantage of rights that we used to enjoy in this country freely. Would love to have you over there. There are hundreds of exclusive videos never before seen here on YouTube. Please, if you have the ability, would love to have you over there. You won't regret it. God bless all of you, and thank you so much. Hot dial, 12 o'clock and 6 miles.
is this tech they're looking for anyway? It's some kind of weapon left by the ancients. The kind that decides who wins the war. Have Moloch's warriors been here before? I don't like the look of this. That was above and beyond, Colonel Kane. 